Today is the day. It's here. It is here. Let's go. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome, welcome. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Today's an exciting one for me as I'm packing up everything to go RV the country. Excuse my raspy voice because uh, I was out late last night, but yeah. Before I continue, I need to give a little context on how I got to this point. So we're gonna take a little rewind. Whoops, that's too far. So here we are in Traverse City, Michigan at an estate sale. That's my grandma, Betty. It's fine. <laughs> it's not a piece of art, Gramsci. Oh, and that is my mom right there. She has had the crazy idea to pack up and go RV the country and live somewhat of a nomad lifestyle working along the road. Of course, just looking out for her, I voiced all the concerns of this endeavor as in money, jobs, retirement, blah, blah, blah. I just bring energy. This is day one of uh, the rest of your life. Let me give you a little tour. We got all my stuff from over 10 years, blah, blah, blah. All right. <laughs> Today is day one of my estate sale, moving sale, garage sale. So this is where I begin to sell everything I own, purging it all to start fresh as a clean slate. But hey, Good for her being brave enough to start the process of an adventure such as this. So this is me being the fantastic son that I am, helping her with her estate sale. We sold all of her things in one weekend to help prepare for her adventure. Now fast forward to the end of July slash early August. My mom is still searching for the right RV and is being careful to make the right purchase. Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you, guys? you mind if we hop on this rig? No, go ahead. <laughs> I won 7,500 bucks. And it was a lot of I mean, a good, but a good bit by the RV bug. Like, I've had six or seven. Gee, that's RVs. a lot. And again, me being the helpful son that I am, I met my mom at numerous RV places, helping her search for the right one and making sure she's being safe along the way. We met a lot of cool people, saw a lot of cool RVs. But in the end, the yeah. right one popped well, up. Why do you think they come here? Because of you. <laughs> no, no, they, you know, I'm a nice guy, but they don't come. They come because our prices are the best. Yeah. That oh, best yeah. prices in the game. Yeah, we really do. As for me, I am to the point where I need to decide what to do with my career my home, and most importantly, my life. I had to make a decision whether I would make an offer to purchase a home inspection franchise in Southeast Michigan that I had been working towards for three years or move on to something else. One would offer me a, a nice income and stability for years to come, and the other a lot of uncertainty and likely ramen noodle dinners, which I don't mind. When I truly stopped to look around at the streets, the culture, and the people I have known for my 23 years of life, I started to feel suffocated. A feeling of I've experienced everything there is to experience around here. And it was one night out with some buddies. It just set in that I needed a change. I need to chase something, build something of my own. So I began soul searching and it didn't take very long to figure out my next step. I have daydreamed about moving to Colorado for years now. Now, why Colorado, you might ask? Well, I'm not really sure. Sure, I've been there a couple times growing up skiing. Jeffrey Bowman, going on the lumber yard. Ready? Jeff, go! Duh. But no family, no friends, no job. Just the thought of, I need to get out to Colorado. For some reason, it has been calling me. Which brings me to why I am RVing the country. Well, my mom has joked for a couple times about me coming to travel the country for a couple months with her. Just get an online remote job of some sort along the way, and it would give me a lot of time and inspiration to work on my film passion. But I always brush it off with a ha ha, good one, mom. But now it kind of makes sense. 
So the day after my realization I needed to leave Michigan, I called my mom and said, what do you think about one month traveling and dropping me off in Denver? She said, that was a fantastic idea and a good way to get me out there, not to stress about finding a lease and take my time. The problem is I am still pretty much a broke post-college student. I needed to be able to make some money on my way to Denver and also have a job there when I get there. Little did I know my mom and her HR skills found a pretty good job posting for me at a home inspection company in Denver, which fit the criteria of what I've been doing for the past three years. I thought, isn't that meant to be? So without giving it a second thought, I sent my resume. They called me the next day, pleasantly surprised to have received my email. We had some very productive phone calls and emails, which eventually led to me flying out to Denver for a couple of days to interview slash train for the remote position, which would eventually lead to me working in Denver. So that was a cool experience, and it really just set in when I was sitting in the plane when I landed in Denver on, wow, this is just a new experience. Uh, It was the first time I felt uncomfortable and had that feeling of being nervous because I'm going on to an unknown territory, and I think that's good. Phew! Now back to the blog. Step one, we gotta get the RV ready and prepped and packed. So I have to fit all of my stuff in there along with my mom. So I'm probably gonna have to put things up on my bed and uh, I get one cubby, I think, on the exterior. So now I gotta go get my clothes, figure out what I'm taking and pack it up. So we just need access. You know, we're gonna wanna bring, get the rug out and the chairs out. So I'm trying to put everything else to the back. And Now this part's gonna be tough because I have to figure out about, I don't know, I'm gonna be there for a month, so um, let's see, I guess I should take about two weeks worth of clothes and then, and then I guess just wash. I don't know how many washing opportunities we'll have to wash clothes, but I'm thinking about two weeks worth of clothes and then I think that'll get me through. The idea is, since this bed's a queen, I mean, I don't need all the space, uh, I think I'm just gonna line this side of the bed and kind of make it my closet. So I'll, I'll put all of my clothes over there. So other than my clothes, my bike, my longboard, I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna bring my camera equipment. I'm not sure <laughs> where this stuff's all gonna go, but uh, hopefully I can find a place, otherwise I'm gonna have to probably cut out some lights. Not necessary, but yeah. So I'm hoping that I can get enough space to fit my longboard in the RV, but we'll do that in the morning with the bikes. So we got her bike and then we got my bike as well. So uh, she's going to bed and I got to finish uh, packing up in here. So I'll see you in the morning. Wow, it's been a very busy day, but I think our plan is to leave around 10 a.m. tomorrow and we will, uh, my mom will start driving and I will just work remotely from the RV while she drives, which is nice. And then we will get to our first destination, which you will see tomorrow. And I'm just really excited. I think it was a good decision. And this journey, I don't know where it's going to lead me, but I'm glad that I said yes to it. And I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah!